Okay, 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 okay. All right, we're up. Um, a little bit to talk about today, and we're going to start it with BDU, and uh, or rather on Flying Rich's channel, the fall of BDU, which at about the eight minute mark, something's mentioned that everyone should kind of make a mental note of. Uh, John Crump had said that he had heard rumors that they were getting pretty short on capital. And I'm just going to play a handful of seconds here and then go over to Flying Rich's channel. You can see the video, The Fall of BDU, and you can watch it in its entirety. But here you go. Like I was saying, I don't wish ill on anyone. I don't wish ill on BDU. I don't wish them to have bad finances. Yeah. I don't wish them to go under. I'm uh, being told that they're over leveraged and they only have about two months of operating capital. And they've been laying people off because of it. Woof. Wow. Ouch. That's like searing, sizzling bad. It, it... So go watch his video. There's more information in there. One thing I'd mentioned about this list, I posted it first, the ATF seizure list. And that list, that link updates daily. So there isn't new stuff to search for or anything like that. It's the same way I found these previous seizures in Illinois and stuff like that. Just you got to just daily look at it, right? Or when you have time. Anyway, the Alamo 15 d designed by Graves is out on BDU. Okay? Which you see. And if you've looked at uh, Whisper Tacticals channel... Uh, he has stuff up about it and he had the previous revisions of it he had had his hands on right and you can see those on his on his channel and it probably sounds like he's going to get a hold of one first the this latest revision that's public oh <sighs> anyway now bdu i had to go through all this nonsense again i am not purchasing one of these so no worries on on my part right but they have these per almost 450 uh, I'm going to run through just so everyone can see what information is available with them. And then the same video that's on YouTube is linked to the YouTube video. And then the description here. So, let's scroll through this. And then I'm going to talk about the trigger itself and just some thoughts on it. I, I, ha I haven't seen one of these in person, so... You know, there's stuff I probably don't know. But when you look at the design of it, if you look at this, essentially what's happening is, is the carrier goes back and you, you get from the open pocket of the carrier, it hits that roller and it pushes down. When it pushes down, the locking bar goes forward, right? The trigger's kept from being able to be pulled until it's, it's just a twist on the, the locking bar. Now, whether or not there's any patent infringement or anything like that going on who knows like who knows right uh rare breed has said before that they're looking into it or whatever and I, whether they sent a cnd or anything like that like who knows right uh i i'm anticipating just based on past videos that get posted up that we should see i would hope think we could see something from rare breed triggers uh, talking about this stuff, or at least their third position, because based on the time frames, it should be coming out here soon. And based on their suit with Tommy Triggers and that paperwork, it, it alluded to that. But needless to say, if there's anything I'm missing that somebody's interested in or putting up, I will. Beyond that, uh, I hope more than anything that Mr. Graves doesn't get taken for a ride like like rare breed was because that didn't go good for them and hey they copied essentially copied the rare breed trigger. i mean they say that in court documents that it's essentially a copy right uh the what the what was so what keeps somebody from copying this and just doing what they want so i hope that 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 doesn't happen because it's just bdu's definitely through all of this and paying attention to it, it has definitely left a bad taste in my mouth. And uh, we shouldn't have had to find out what got taken by looking at a seizure list. And it definitely shouldn't have been my goofy bald ass that found it first, right? And posted it on YouTube first. It's, it's pretty wild. But here we are.
And uh, that's it. Everybody have a good weekend. I uh, hope everybody's, uh, it's pretty icy where I'm at. It's starting to thaw out, so whatever. Anyway, catch you guys later. I'll post something if something valuable comes up, but if not, it'll be next week, hopefully. We'll see. Laters.